All right, students. So now it's time to move on to deleting records commands. Till now, we have been talking about only on column basis. We are talking about how to modify a column, how to modify the data type of a column, how to rename a column, how to add column, how to delete column. And we have kept our discussion strictly on the column level of the data, right? Because column carries the data attributes, but it doesn't carry the data. The data is carried by what? Rows. Column attributes, data attributes, and rows your rows are your actual data in the table now how to delete the data how to delete the rows is something that we should also know in case something has come up and probably i want to delete it from the record or probably an employee which has left the organization i want to delete the record of that particular employee and the employee was there with, ten, with us 10 years ago and after 10 years i have a policy that i need to you know uh, change the entire database right so that's when i need to use delete records from delete from something called as delete from as visible on your screen so delete from is that particular syntax which deletes a certain set of rows delete from very logically question says i mean after using the delete command from where you want to delete so answer is when we have to add the table name, we have to give the table name from where we want to delete it. So till now SQL knows as, okay, I need to delete from this table, right? I'm not using drop. Drop would have been for column. Delete is for rows, okay? So the moment SQL sees that it's delete, the user is talking about deleting the rows, deleting the data. From where? The table name. And how? Which one? Then I'll have to go for the where clause, which defines which one based on a certain condition. Right. So delete from table name where this is happening. And this is happening can be of multiple things. You probably want to delete the top five rows. You probably want to delete the bottom five rows. You probably want to delete a certain specific rows based on a certain condition. All that come, all that stuff is absolutely applied over here. And this is how we can delete it. Let's see it in SQL. So we are in SQL over here. Let me use HR EMP and select star from employees is something that I'm going to go for right now. Select star from employees is going to give me the entire list of employees, the entire data of the employees. Now I want to delete if I recall while uh, taking care of the insert function. I've Yes, I've actually inserted a dummy row over here, which not exactly was a part of this. So I'll delete this. I'll take this opportunity to delete this and I want to delete delete from the table name which is in this case is employees right where how do i define this plenty of things i can do in uh, it in many ways okay first is let's say first name is equal to i'll have to go for a text over here which means quotes saurabh right i could have done this or i could have done this right so i'll, I'll just do it something like this or I could have done something like this. There's not a proper code, huh, guys. I'm just giving you an oblique so that you understand what else could have been done. Or I don't have to write entire where. The condition is first name is Saurabh. I could have done it with the last name as well. Last name is equal to, let's say, Moharikar. And then plenty of things, right? I could have done it in many different conditions. But here, the easiest one is that, okay, this is the ID. This is ID, which is 1102, right? I'll want to remove the data of this particular id right so what i'll do is i'll just select this and control enter okay okay there is a problem so i'll just see what the problem is i'll just run this code and oh i'm so sorry there's nothing called as id it's employee id right so i'll go for employee such kind of mistakes do happen so let's not worry about it i mean syntax error does happen now uh employee id is equal to 1102 i enter this and now as you can see one row is affected that is it is done and now if i go for select star from employees and run it I'll get the data and at the bottom, I'm not getting that data 1102, which was my dummy data, which I entered. This is how you can use delete command.